Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck and we are back in Lima. This is a game that I have really enjoyed and last time we were not able to find the page so I decided um, to go back and try to find it and I did. So I'm going to just read that page to you and then we're going to go straight on forward, okay? So it says November 27th, Mark. It starts with light. Quantum physics tells us that Paradoxically, a single photon can make two different paths at the same time. Ha! I'm guessing that means forward and back or upward and down. Um, let's see. November 27th. Mark, observation is incredibly powerful. In fact, observing a photon can actually affect events that occurred in the past. And if it works with a photon, maybe it could work with something bigger. Um... Time travel? I'm, I'm going to just make it a theory. I think he's talking time travel. I'm guessing red is not good for us. So I'm going to just go with the old red is dead mantra. And uh, yeah. Okay. So red would have killed us, I guess. Uh, this is what we usually use to um, open the Tesseract. So I'm guessing we just put our blue stuff there and then walk over here and boom oh yeah the lines are actually lit up now between um between the things and that actually is lit up and i see a blue thing over there so let's go check that thing out Who? Oh. hello so yeah i oh <laughs> okay we got it. there's another blue okay uh, one of two orbs so far, so that's the second orb we've we've done it. Hoop. Hello. <laughs> All right. So next area, uh, jump forward and press left mouse button to kick through the certain material. Okay. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> well, that's pretty fun. All right, so more red, but we got this purple. Let's just check it out. Um, oh, there's a tower there. Let's go this way. Okay, let's see what he has to say this time. Uh, why are you helping me? Where are you? I think I know why he's helping me. He knows me, of course. Um, so, where are you anyway? You know, I was really disappointed when you turned down the trip to Brazil. Oh, um, that wasn't what I asked you. Uh, don't change the subject. Yeah, let's do that. You know the tribal history of the region better than anyone. You literally, <laughs> you're literally the only person who can talk to them. Um, no, I'm not. They're an uncontacted people group. No one can talk to them. Can you get back on the, let's get back on topic. Um, we're trying to figure our way out of here. He's trying to help us. <laughs> My location is irrelevant. Just know that I can't get to you else or else. I'd be with you right now. Pose. Um, what am I, five? Uh, well, if your goal is to keep me in the dark, you're doing, uh, yeah. Am I five? What's going on? Knowledge is dangerous. Ignorance is bliss. So says the sensei. <laughs> um, that's a lot of red, and that is the Tesseract. That sparkly thing is probably the thing that's creating the red. So let's go agitate it, I guess. There we go. Oh boy, he's fast. He's fast. He's f ouch. Red. Red is bad. So bad. Come here. I can take you. I can take you. Oh. There we go. Ah, we got him. We got him. 
Oh. Cool. All right. So, guys, before we move on from here, I just wanted to bring up that there was a patch that came out. It's not affecting me because of the fact that I don't, I don't know why I was staying in there. Uh, wall run forward off the edge of the, uh, of the wall. The wall will extend. Oh, that's pretty cool. And that actually uh, deals with the first thing in the patch notes. So I'm out of town. I don't have a Wi-Fi card in my desktop. So I don't have the patch actually that I'm reading. It shows that the build number is the same, which is 1064, but it's not a f taking effect, I guess. Maybe I downloaded it, but it was not installed, but that was something that Steam does. So anyway, the first fix was fix wall run glitch exploit. And the reason I'm standing here looking this way instead of that way is because that, if we do the glitch going that way, it's going to affect our game. So whenever I was going back and and looking for that page, I noticed that you could do this. And what I'm doing here is I'm pressing shift over and over and over and over again. And it is creating, it is allowing you to continue to run on a wall. Well, in that level where I was going to get the page, it, it wasn't the same thing, of course. It was just that it was easier for me to cross uh, walls that I had to run on so I didn't know about this though whenever I was doing the patch notes or whenever I looked them up to read them <laughs> that's that's very insane we are not going to do that though so yeah if you if you were to go on a normal wall you could do that but that changes things roll or slide forward off the ledge a platform will appear okay cool all right so the next thing is that they added an option to minimize camera motion i'm guessing that's for people who have motion sickness or have epileptic tendencies or epileptic fits which means that they're trying to keep their gamers or their players safe november 27th mark every single person is changing the universe by just observing it what if we could consciously harness that power. Then we would be affecting the past. Which is a paradox, I think. Isn't it? The butterfly effect or whatever it's called. Okay, I don't know what... Uh, maybe a door opened or something. Let's go ahead and continue on. Alright, so yeah. You don't want to You don't want to affect the, uh, the future. That's... Um, it's been a uh, douchebag. <laughs> you definitely don't want to do that. Let's see. Next thing is uh, disable animated camera rotation in virtual reality mode. So that is if you have like an Oculus Rift or the new Windows version of uh, 3D eyewear, <laughs> then that is something that you can change. I'm guessing it's probably affecting the same thing. Motion blur or epileptic fits. So this is lit up, that's that tower. Uh, this one's not, and there's a tower for that. Okay, so I'm guessing we have to get all these towers to unlock this. And there should be one back here too. Yeah, that one seems pretty far away, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that one first. Next thing on our list, we're gonna get through this pretty fast, I believe, if we just continue through it. The next thing is uh, some of the challenge levels are now available in time trial mode. So this is a challenge level. I'm guessing that's what this is uh, because this is, uh, oh, come on, there we go. This is an actual level. I'm guessing because I haven't played the challenge modes yet that they already have specific maps for those time trials. I think you can even get maps off the workstation or, or, or not the workstation, but the uh, workshop. So, yeah. So they added these. Let's see. What else do they have? Um, yeah. The other thing was is that they added a, a challenge level leaderboard on the main menu now. You can access a leaderboard, apparently. Ouch. Went too far with that. 
And now I'm, I don't know how to get back. If we go up here, I think that's too high for me. That's not though, okay. So the next thing is they fixed a subtle, uh, let's see, fixed a subtle but nasty bug related to backtracking on forest and dawn levels, which we were having a problem with backtracking. Oh, that's pretty cool. I, I just did that. Let's see here. Yeah, whenever we were trying to find that page, there was a big wall that we could not get past up to. Don't die. Roll it out. Roll it out. We're okay. We're good. Uh, let's come to here. So yeah, they they apparently fixed that, which is good because you don't want to be uh, don't want to be stuck and not get those. Not that they probably affect anything really. Oh, where am I going? Going over here. The next thing that they did was they fixed a save new button issue. Now, I know that that is something that I've been dealing with is that whenever I go to save, it is wiped away by going through a Tesseract. You could only have like three or five of those uh, of five saves and they they get wiped out by going through tesseracts so that's not cool so whenever we get those patches into this computer uh that'll be pretty cool uh let's see okay we got one of those let's check up there there's an orb over there let's see the next thing is they added or they um yeah added a debug player velocity display for people who make their own levels or make levels for other people to play. Action. I'm dancing. Come. Really? All right. Yeah, there's an orb. There's pages. Okay. January 16th. This is in the future from where we were before. I. I gain more control every day. Yesterday I flew in the dream for the first time. Flying's awesome. But it seems like I'm simultaneously gaining control and losing it in equal proportion. This morning I woke up screaming. I would be screaming too if whenever I woke up I was unable to fly anymore. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's go this way. Uh, another one of these. Okay. I can start sliding, sliding a little too early. Alright, I'm going to say that's good. Yep, we're good there. A level editor respects movement key bindings. I'm guessing that's, of course, that's something for level editors. I really don't know what that means. Uh, I completely said slid. Oh, hello. All right. Ah, uh, I hear those guys. Oh, boy. Excuse me. Oh, man. Come on. Don't do this to me. Oh, come on. I'm not, I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to get over it. Oh, jeez. There's an orb going over there. Catch it. <laughs> okay, I got the orb. There's the Tesseract. All right, I got to go across there. Hopefully not die. And I got no one on me right now. Once I get down to there, I'm probably going to... Okay, let's go over here. Hopefully we're not seen until we want to be seen. Oh, we're seen. We're seen. Oh, jeez. Ouch. <laughs> All right. Whew. 
let's get out of here we're gonna go ahead and end this episode here i hope you liked it and enjoyed it please like and subscribe leave a comment if you want me to play any other games if you have anything in mind or if you just want to just say hey anyway guys i hope you enjoyed it have a great day and a great weekend peace out